Hey, I'm JC Frias. I'm from Texas, living in Utah with my partner of four years and our pets. I love hosting dinner parties and gatherings and enjoy making everything in my home look adorable. Join me on learning some tips of doing it yourself and being creative. Hey everyone, how's it going? JC here. Um, so a few things that are new is I got braces. Um, yeah, my teeth weren't really bad, but I just wanted to get them. And so I got them to have perfect teeth. I know, I'm vain. Anyways, um, so here's a new video that I have told you guys that's coming and then it never came, but I promised it was coming. And so I finally got it all done and I edited it and it's beautiful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm back, and we are going to have a lot of fun. All right, anyways, go ahead and check out the video on how to make these awesome flowers. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your tissue paper, and you're going to separate it. Um, just take one off and separate it from the batch. And then you're going to fold it back up how it was which isn't that hard to do, <clears throat> sorry. And then, after you have it all folded up nice and pretty, you're gonna fold it again in half, okay? And then on the top, you're going to cut a rounded edge. And so, this would form like the petals. And then, on the opposite side, you can cut a rounded edge as well. Just like that. Perfect. After you got that done, you can open it up and you can make two flowers, sometimes even three out of this, just depending what you're doing. Because if you see, I still have two um, polys or two pieces um, of the paper. So then after I have this, I'm going to grab it and fold it over. Okay. And if you've seen any of my arts and crafts, you know that you do not have to be perfect. So just fold it over and then start scrunching it up. And about in the middle, you're going to do like a turn on it. And then you go scroll it, um, rolling it up again. And then at the very end, you're going to grab your tape and tape up the edges. Just like this. You see? Not too hard, not too difficult. And there you go. And you're going to want to make several of them just like this. And so when you put them on the wall, you can open them up. And once you have all of them there, you start seeing the big picture. So let's start again. So we're going to move a little bit faster. So on this one, it's the same rounded edges like the other one. You can fold it all up like this and fold it again and then cut it around, which makes it smaller on one side and bigger on the other side, which will give your flower some variation and a little bit of texture, which is kind of cool when you're doing a huge wall because then you'll have several different flowers that look different, if that made any sense. <laughs> uh, roll it up again and tape it at the edge. Remember, just make a whole bunch of these, taping them at the end, and they will come out perfect when they're all set and done. Look at how cute that is. And my camera's going really fast. Anyways, next up, we're going to get this gold shimmer. By the way, I got all my paper at World Market, which is the best. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get to find some cool stuff like this um, gold copper um, looking one. So cut it at the end, fold it again, cut it again. So there, that way I have two different sizes. I'm going to cut it in half, which is going to make an even smaller flower. Open it up, cut it in half again. And since this has shimmer on one side and on the other one it doesn't, you are going to just fold it up. Make sure that you have shimmer in and out. Roll it up. And there you go. It looks gorgeous. Anyways, um, you want to make sure that you keep doing this. Um, with all of your flowers, you can make big ones, you can make small ones. It's just really um, playing around with it and seeing what you get. Remember not to take anything too serious with these because you can't really mess it up. And if one of them looks a little weird or a little funky, don't toss it out. Just keep it, and you can kind of plug it in when you do your whole wall, believe me. This one, I'm just using the big petals, rolling it up again, and doing the same thing. If 
you have a group of girls, group of guys, whoever you got over, put them to work, get them to do this when you are having um, your party preparations. And seriously, in an hour, you can bust out a whole bunch of them. Good luck! So here I got my friend Alyssa kind of modeling this wall. <clears throat> Sorry. And you can see it is gigantic. And it came out amazing. So here are just some photos that you guys can take a look at and see how cool this wall looks. I did white, different teals, and gold and bronzy flowers just to give some the wall some depth and uh, mix it up a little. And totally my inspiration for this wall was anthropology. I love their style and what they do. And I feel like I got a really good feel or fix or whatever. I The inspiration was there. And so I think it turned out rather remarkable. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Make sure to check out my um, other videos on my YouTube page. Click over here or over there or somewhere over there. And um, um, check me out on Facebook. My headline is down here. Woo. Somewhere. And um, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at JCFreeS and on my Twitter page. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks.